Hey there everyone, so Quinn has released their Quinn Next ATB A3B which means that the model has a total of 80 billion parameters and 3 billion active parameters and with just 3 billion active parameters it says that it outperforms Gemini 2.5 flash thinking if you look at the benchmarks you can clearly see which model they are targeting it is the Gemini 2.5 flash thinking so is this model better than Gemini 2.5 flash let's find out we'll be doing a head-on competition between these two models to find out which one is better before that let's actually get into the pricing so if you go to open router there will be a lot of providers with different pricing but the one that is mentioned at the top is 14 cents per million input tokens and 1 dollars and 40 cents per million output tokens if you compare this with gemini 2.5 flash gemini 2.5 flash is 30 cents per million input tokens and 2 dollars 50 cents per million output tokens so so it's nearly half the price of gemini 2.5 flash so with this price will it be able to actually beat gemini 2.5 flash let us find out before getting into the coding section let's actually cover up reasoning you know how do they compare in reasoning so here i have five hard questions you know considering the size of these models asked and compared quen 3 next gemini 2.5 flash and gpt5 mini so all these models are similar kind of models you know quen next is a significantly smaller model you know judging by the active parameters but they are saying they are better than gemini 2.5 flash that's the reason we are testing it how do they compare let's move on to the question so the first question is a water tank question you can have a look over here if you head over to my website and go to problem collection you will find this question so the correct answer is east side i have asked this question 10 times to this model and i've seen how many times do they get it right out of 10 so clearly you can see gemini 2.5 flash and gpt5 mini both get it 10 on 10 this means that every time they get it right what about quen next quen next also gets a 10 out of 10 absolutely insane let's move on to the letters problem so this you can see is my second problem this is slightly harder than the previous one and you can see the correct answer how do they perform well in the letters question now you can see the performance is starting to decrease gemini 2.5 scores a 9 out of 10 gpt5 mini again scores a 10 out of 10 what about quen next quen next just scores a 1 out of 10 this is where it actually starts to fall behind i actually didn't expect that next up let's move on to connect the dots question so this is the question as you can see they have to actually connect the dots and find the underlying word you can pause and have a look at the question so in this particular question gemini 2.5 flash again scores a 9 out of 10 gpt5 mini on the other hand again scores a 10 out of 10 what about Quen. Quen scores a 10 out of 10 as well. That is nice to see. Let's move on to the next question that is grids. So this is the question you can see. The answer is everything will be 0 but and in the between you will be having 1. So how many models gave the same answer? Well GPT-5 mini got it right every single time again getting a 10 out of 10 gemini 2.5 flash gets a 9 out of 10 what about quen quen also gets a 10 out of 10 insane let's move on to the final problem this is a hard question especially for these models this is the 64 tennis players question you can see the correct answer is option a 9 and 13 you know there is a tournament happening between 64 players and there will be various rounds they have to find out if player 23 and 46 are able to play with each other then who among the options are able to play with each other so the correct answer is 9 and 13 let's see the scores of the model so this is the first time when gpt5 mini actually gets an error it scores a 9 out of 10 instead of 10 out of 10 gemini 2.5 flash as always has got a 9 out of 10 quen on the other hand just got a 3 out of 10 now you can see this is the second question where it's starting to fall behind so if you now look at the total scores that is 34 out of 50 for quen 46 out of 50 for gemini 2.5 flash and 49 out of 50 for gpt5 mini gpt5 mini nearly aced the problem just getting one error so when it comes to reasoning raw intelligence you can see this is the hierarchy that you see gpt5 mini being the best followed by gemini 2.5 flash and then followed by quen next so this was about reasoning let's actually get into the coding comparison of these two models so i've enabled thinking in quen next and by default i think it selects the max tokens which is nice here on ai studio i have selected gemini 2.5 flash and i have set the thinking budget to absolutely maximum you know how much it can have it can't have beyond that let's start off with our first question can you draw a dragon in a web page using html css and js show side view of the dragon and give your best implementation in one single code so let's send this to both models and let's see which one comes up with a better response okay everyone we have got the responses and as you know towards our left we have quen and towards our right we have gemini so quen next seems to have generated a mosquito you know it looks more like a mosquito gemini on the other hand slightly more resembles 
a dragon i guess at least comparatively it's better but we'll move on to the second iteration okay we have got the second iteration i think uh, quen has tried to depict a chinese dragon and uh, you can clearly see that it just looks you know weird shapes just joined together to form a dragon i think this is a sine wave and we have dots over it and it tries to resemble a dragon comparatively i think that gemini is better personally i would prefer that but if you think otherwise i'm completely okay with that but personally for me Gemini is better. Let's move on to the next question. So the next question is build absolutely best implementation of Super Mario game in a web page without using any external assets and in one single code. So let's send this and let's see what they come up with. Okay, we have got the first iteration from both models. Let's look at Quinn. So you can see I do have a player kind of thing which I can move here and there, but I'm not able to jump you know i'm trying all kind of buttons but i'm not able to jump so clearly we might have to go for second iteration for quinn but that will be decided if gemini is bad so okay i hit the start game button but nothing is happening so i think comparatively quinn is better but let's move on to the second iteration okay everyone we have got the updated response let's start off with quinn you can see i'm able to move and this time around I'm trying to jump and even now it is not working. I mean I'm trying to hit space and all kind of buttons that I should press but uh, nothing is happening. Having said that let's move on to Gemini. Okay this is what Gemini has generated. It also has sound. Have a look at this. It looks very cute. Now you can see I'm able to collect the coins. I'm able to jump. We don't have a victory flag or anything like that. But I think comparatively it is actually better. So again I would give a win to Gemini 2.5 flash. Let's move on to the next question. So this time around we are actually asking them to create a trading dashboard. You know it should have tick by tick updating data, candlestick charts, indicators and all other features. So let's send that and let's see how they do. Okay everyone we have got the responses so let's have a look at Quen's response. So this is what it has generated you can see all the stats are kind of big and the chart has kind of squished at the side. Let me try to regenerate this maybe that will fix the issue. Okay so that didn't fix the issue. If I make it small then it's kind of working but uh, you know this is not how a candlestick chart works. I can change it to line chart and you can see a line is also present with the candlestick chart instead of you know removing the candles so this is what quen has given we have a buy button and a sell button and stuff like that but i think we need some improvement with this comparatively this is what gemini has generated you can see it has a market overview buy and sell buttons the chart is literally non-existent at this point so let's give them some feedback and come up with a second iteration okay everyone we have got the updated response so this is what quen has generated again we don't see any kind of improvement over here and nothing much to say if we compare this with gemini 2.5 flash again you can see it has given us a white screen i think comparatively i would say that quen is actually better in this one because it at least gives us something so this win goes to quen let's move on to the next question okay so next we are moving on to python based problems here you can see we are asking the models to create a python code for a hollow circle with an opening there are two balls inside it and whenever a ball exits two new balls appear so this is what they have to generate let's see which one gives us a better response okay everyone we've got the responses let's start off with quinn let's paste the code and let's run it okay we have two balls it is bouncing it is also having sound and you can see whenever a ball kind of exits two new balls appear it actually got it right i guess so you can surely see some balls actually kind of you know getting stick to each other but all in all it is working that is nice i didn't expect this guys it would work in first instance it's going to be tough for gemini 2.5 flash let's see what it does so we'll copy the code paste that and let's run it okay so clearly gemini doesn't get it i think we don't need a second try because clearly in, even in the first instance quen was able to give us a working response so this is a win for quen next up write a python program that simulates earth's rotation so let's send this and let's see what we get okay everyone we have got the responses let's start off with quen immediately we don't see any kind of errors let's run it and that didn't run that was a fail let's move on to gemini let's copy the code paste that and let's run it okay, again that was a fail so both have given us some errors let's move on to second iteration okay everyone we've got the better response let's start off with quinn let's paste the code and let's run it okay we do see an orange blob and i think this represents the moon we can change the zoom level by you know moving the mouse wheel but uh, that doesn't look like earth does it so this is what quen has given let's look at gemini let's run this okay now you can see it has gone with a dotted kind of 
implementation comparatively it has blue and you know a tint of green colors as you can see at the very end of this although both responses are not that good but comparatively i would think that gemini is actually better so i'll give this one to gemini because earth is definitely not orange next up finally we are asking them to create state of the art pacman game in python so let's see how they do we'll send this question to both models and look for their responses okay everyone we have the responses let's see which one is better starting off with quinn let's paste the code and let's run it okay so this is the pacman it has tried to generate you can see the ghosts are moving kind of very fast if i restart it and uh, i mean there is no point in moving actually because things are moving a lot faster than it should be and you know i'm not able to escape this small enclosed path that it has generated but anyways it is a working response and a 3 billion active parameters model is able to do this is absolutely insane let's look at gemini so let's paste the code and let's run it okay so it says that two dimensional stereo mixer error so this is mostly related to sound so we'll paste there and also give feedback to ken and come up with the second iteration okay everyone we have the responses let's start off with ken we'll paste the code and let's run it okay it says pacman let's hit space to start and we do see ghosts and pacman and the maze has actually improved but uh, you can see i'm not able to move the pacman so that is kind of an issue so it has slightly fixed it but uh, all in all it's not that good let's move over to gemini let's paste the code and let's run it i hope it works this time and that didn't run again a fail guys so gemini was not able to make it run so again i have to give a point to quen so we are done with the testing what can we say if we just look at front end questions we, we clearly see that out of 3 questions and 2 of them gemini 2.5 flash was better whereas when it comes to back end questions we, we tested 3 questions and out of them in 2 of them quen was actually better and if we look at the total scores that is 3 for both of them showing that quen does come very close to gemini 2.5 flash and also surpasses it when it comes to you know python based problems and stuff it is absolutely insane what a 3 billion active parameters model is able to do i mean the api pricing is also less so this model can be a good alternative but please do keep in mind that this is not best in reasoning the best in reasoning is still gpt5 mini which is actually even cheaper than gemini 2.5 flash i mean slightly cheaper not that much but this is a good model what do you guys think about this new model if my video was helpful in any way please do hit the like button and hype this video so that more and more people are able to watch this take care of yourselves and i'll catch you guys in the next one